Go out here and check this little bitty push up here. Um, caught one or two rats here in the last two checks. Got a mink set right there. Nice little trail coming, but it's the high bank trail, but I think it'll be using it. We'll see if one shows up. A little 110 there. I don't really expect think I'll catch another one here. There's probably only one or two rats using it. I think I caught two here yesterday. I see one trap for sure. And I see the other one. And we'll leave it for now, but uh, if they're empty tomorrow, they'll be getting a buggy ride. We'll get on down to the next set. Alright, at the next set. Again, this was chock full of houses last year. Year before, even more. But I think the ones I left last year froze out. Oop, found a hole. I will say when they built this, they did make it all the way across about two and a half foot deep. Technically, you could have walked across the whole thing right after it was built in hip boots. I wouldn't want to try that now, even right now with it being low. And I see one trap. Oh, and I see a floater muskrat. Boom, right there. And I'm walking around here and I'm already sinking over my knees. Hind foot caught. You can always tell that it's floating like that, but it got in my both hind feet. He wasn't doing much. And all this crap off there. You don't want to leave a whole lot of stuff on there. It just makes it easier for them to tangle up and other stuff. Yep, that ain't no good. Just a little pad for it to set on, nothing fancy. Oh, he'll go large rat anyway. He could ride with me. Apparently, it's not a day for real big stuff anyway. Now, the oh, they're a real deep hole out of the uh, two beavers I caught at the other spot. One was a two-year-old. The other one was probably about a three-year-old, but nice size and nothing huge, maybe 30 pounds. It's one of them days. Maybe tomorrow everything will be huge. I'll be complaining about all the weight I had to pack. Second to the last stop, and up at the first stop where there's two actual houses set up, stakes missing off one of them I seen on the way by, so say we're gonna have to hunt down a coon. Uh oh, sitting there talking, worry about this GoPro, forgot my stick. I'll be out there weeble wobbling everywhere. Three point of contact. Got a mink set here too. Right there. I actually had them flagged with a long piece of tape when I was using it for muskrats. And uh, a couple years ago. I don't know if that's scaring mink or not. Only I just put them there yesterday, so they like, ooh, they had a long time. Last year I did try to use a couple of them, and any of them that had that tape on them did not connect, so I ripped it off. That little piece is stuck on there. I don't know if that's enough to scare me or not. 
Well, so far, you see nobody floating anyway. Oh, I heard one. Uh, traps will sit over there, but right there's one. Got a little butt up. A big house in there in that tree, but they'll get over here. I'm not going to wait over there. I'm going to kill every one of them anyway. Last one was caught by both back feet. And this one here, both front feet. Now last year, if you guys watched me trap this, a uh, high percentage of big rats, huge rats. This year, high percentage of little rats, which of course would be indicative that most likely they did all die out last year. And these are just a reproduction from earlier this year. But we'll leave that again. I don't pull them until they go set empty. Oh, here I'll do two days. If I come here tomorrow, nothing. If I next day, nothing. It'll go back to the buggy, just like that one up last one we looked at. It'll get a ride tomorrow if it don't have anything. Never buy tracker. Junk. Very expensive junk, but junk. All right. Next set, guys. All right, guys. Last check here. Um, I don't know if it'll come out. We got a stake over there on that house right there. Got a little bit of fear there, skipped it. I have had a stake on that one. And that house was mounted up like that one. So I'm gonna say somewhere out there, there's a coon or even possibly an otter. I've actually caught otter on them. They like to get up outside those houses. But something pulled the stake and it was not a muskrat. It's got two traps on them. I don't know if I ever showed this year on them wired, but uh, each stake normally has two trap wire to it, so it's pretty hard for them to drag off anywhere. Hopefully he's just buried down in there. Whatever it is. Dang sure destroyed that house. Yeah, it was there for a minute. I think I see part of my stake. Yeah, there's part of it. He's packing part of a stake and then a trap with him. You see where he got caught right there. Looks like maybe another spot over there. And I might see a patch of fur. I do see a patch of fur. He got caught right here. I don't believe what I think I'm seeing. I see two patches of fur. Oh my God. I can honestly say I never, ever, 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 ever done that. Coon in each one of the traps. And then they had a contest of getting over here. I'll be darned. Well, there's something you don't see every day. All right, I'll take care of these guys and we'll go remake this. We're probably not, but I'll go check the other ones and we'll get back to you. All right, last place of the day, guys, pond. I actually caught the beaver yesterday. I think there's only one of a huge male, but there could be more. Drought years, they tolerate each other a little bit more, so sometimes males will gang up a little bit. Uh, had a muskrat in that set yesterday. Got a couple. Uh, baited muskrat so that says over there but uh, nothing in there today you can see here where he come up I made a caster mount here I can see the jaw of my trap there and he had tromped everywhere but instead of coming where I wanted to 
he came up from over here, messed around, and then he went back over there. Like I said, then he went over there and got caught. So, and I got a colony set up here. Had one rat in it yesterday. This place will be pretty much done. The guy's seen otters in it. So it's been just not far from the duck lakes where I'm at. I'll probably go ahead and run them until it frees up. The cold spell coming there Monday. I think we'll get down to 17, 13, something. This will freeze over. I'll probably pull everything right before then or right after that. Let's see. Very shallow. Nothing in it. Looks to me he just had a few rats and that one beaver. Now he did have this beaver in here. This place actually they called me this spring, midsummer actually. It's pretty warm out. Because their sun had come down here. It's over the hill, CRP everywhere. They don't get down here very often. And uh, come down there fishing and seen it all plugged up. All the chewing, they called me. I come and looked at it. I actually set some traps. Wasn't no fresh sign, and now it's no boar that wintered here. Moved on in the spring. But uh, he come back, and I told him he would. Uh, they had my number. I said, keep it. You'll need it, because he will be back. And they come down here a week or so ago just to check. And sure enough, all this fresh cutting's everywhere. Can't do any land trapping here. Up on top there, there's a highway. And a bunch of dogs everywhere. Got a 330 down at the end of this one, still set. You can see the cuttings from last year, but all are tall cuttings. I mean, knee high to me. That's probably one of the shorter ones, and it's over calf high. But with that, now I figured that uh, probably just one beaver. There's not a whole lot of cuttings, and they're all about the same size, same height. But this setup here can nab me an otter, so I'm going to run it for a few days, and that's the only reason I'm leaving them now. And there's some old otter scat. Got the trail coming up, otter and coon. So, uh, might get lucky and get me one. I can see the trap where it goes in, still set there. This set over here is where I caught the uh, beaver yesterday. Holy smokers. There you go. Sometimes you're proved wrong. Sometimes you're proved wrong. I don't know if it's coming through, but that sure looks like a beaver down there. It sure enough does. Let's see what this thing is. I think it even looks like a little beaver. Let me all twist it up. All right, well now I've been proved wrong. It was a huge male I caught yesterday. Give him blue eye. Look at this thing. I wouldn't have bet that for the world. I'd have lost money. Just not much sign. That's crazy. Brand new dozen of TS-85 or 86s or 89s, but TS-85 is here. Uh, if you followed my channel last year, I used a couple, and I like them. So I bought me a dozen. We'll put them suckers to good use. further there we go well guess I'll be trapping here a few more days anyway I'm gonna have to 
put in some different sets. It's kind of funny. I mean, I got these two. This was just a kind of a rinkety dink caster mount. I mean, actually, it wasn't even no mount. I just put a little caster on a stick and set it. This ground is harder than a brick bat. There we go. Wow. Alright. Well, I'll have to definitely let them know. I'd eat a little crow on that one because I already told them. And I figured that was it. I didn't bring no cash earlier with me. That's how sure I was. Mother Nature always show you what you know, which is little. But again, another little one. This was the day of the little ones. All right, guys, we'll uh, get him back and we'll uh, probably see y'all tomorrow.